that, we are off on this Thursday night women's hoop showcase on Big Ten Plus. Nolan into Kaiser. Back out to Leah Brown. Back into Williams. Michigan going high-low on this first possession. Leah Brown drives right, gets bumped. Leah Brown getting the dribble handoff and hits the bunny. Leah Brown so good at getting into that lane and converting around the cup. Absolutely. Her short-range game is one of her best offensive attributes. Manny Nolan guarding on the perimeter. This is Kara Goss. Now into Cook. Stolen. Felia coming the other way. Goes to Nolan on the right side. Had Leah Brown streaking down the lane for a second, but Michigan pulls it back out. Cross-court pass. Nolan. Now Kaiser. Kaiser takes the long two. Off the back of the rim, and the Rockets coming the other way. This is Sophia Wired, the back-to-back -back MAC leader in assist to turnover ratio as there is a turnover and Toledo does not turn it over very much under 12 turnovers per game and I think you can credit a lot of that to Wired look for the Wolverines to continue to try to push it inside on the offensive end nice backdoor cut there from Lockett and Cook with the dime Brown coming back the other way quickly Straight back into Cameron Williams. And good hands there from Cook. And now going the other way are the Rockets. Goss with the left. All tied up at four. Kaiser with the height advantage. Goes out to Leah Brown who spots up. And in and out. Brutal for Brown. But now Toledo with a chance to take the lead. Baseline drive. With the bump, no foul called, but that is a bucket by Sammy McConowitz. Nolan, one of Michigan's best shooters. Cameron Williams chooses to pull up from 12. Nolan with the offensive board and put back. But Michigan rebounds by committee as Leah Brown over with the help, but a tough finish there from Quinesha Lockett. And expect to see a lot more of that, of that tonight. Quinesha Lockett, one of the best scoring players in the MAC. Miscommunication here. Toledo with a chance to get a nice easy points off turnovers and they convert. Toledo goes up 10-6 and their fans who traveled 45 minutes up Route 23 and now into Kaiser. Double teamed. Goes cross course to Nolan. Nolan with her first three attempt. Front rim and out. Felia wired going off the screen. Garcia into the game and pops the three and gets fouled by Evans. A great stroke from the junior. Really impressed with the, the game plan from this Rockets team and, and head coach Trisha Cullop. And Garcia hits all three, extending the Rockets lead to seven. As now Nolan looking for Brown in the post. Can't get it to her. Now Kaiser at the top of the key. Brown wanted that ball. And a nice finish by Elise Stuck. Wired calling out the plays for this Rocket squad. As we mentioned, such a veteran presence on this team. As that baseline pass now over to Wired for three. And that is good. And the Wolverines rotated really well there until just the very end. And another short range jump shot. Rimming and out for the Wolverines. 16 to eight. The Toledo lead, two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Garcia fakes the long two. Dribble handoff, something that this Rockets team loves to do. Wired from the other side and hits it. An 11 point lead for the Rockets. There's been a number of shots the Wolverines have converted this season efficiently around the rim that they just haven't been able to today. Good inbounds play, and Felia breaks the ice. Into the game is Jada Jansen. Number 12 for the Rockets, as this is Garcia that hits, pops the long two. 
Too That's short. I'm looking for Layla Felia to take over here and really will this offense. Felia with the pass to Camp Schrader and sinks the three. 5 0 run for the Wolverines and a quick timeout. Toledo opening up an 11 point lead. As we said earlier, they have a 13 game road winning streak on the line, and the Wolverines a 21 game home winning streak on the line. Stuck closes out on Garcia. Doesn't matter. Garcia hits the three. Need to be settling for outside shots. I think they'd like to end the quarter here with a Camp post Schrader calling for what she wants. Hobbs now on the left side. Goes behind the back. Off her own foot. Diving play. Now over to Camp Schrader. Did she get it off? Doesn't matter. Hobbs in the Kaiser. One of the Kaiser's many touches, but unable to get it to go so far. And Williams, another close shot missed. Now double teamed. Gets it up, and another miss. Michigan having the ball around the basket, but unab unable to put it through the hoop. As Wired all the way, and a foul called. Wired a great free throw shooter, 82% on the season. Not only a, a passer, but a scorer as well. And back in 2020, tied the school record with 42 points against Northern Illinois. Fila going left, hangs, and hits the tough shot. Michigan couldn't get any of the easy ones to go, but got that one to go as a turnover here from Wired. Uncharacteristic. Hobbs all the way with the left. Four quick points for the Wolverines. Does not get much playing time for this Wolverine squad, seeing if she can offer a lift. As Wired, another three. It's good. That's three threes for Sophia Wired, and she is up to 11 points. A long five seconds there as Crockett pops the three. And that's an air ball for the Wolverines. Wired inside. Quick move there. Now Garcia in the corner. Felia's closeout. Affects the shot enough. And a block there. And it didn't pay off, but that was an excellent pass from Goss into the corner. Great vision. No foul called on Leah Brown as Lockett picks her pocket and goes coast to coast. And make the Wolverines get out and run with them. And they're having a field day. Crockett providing the screen for Brown who goes into Kaiser. Kaiser goes right, now left, and finishes. And one. And Kaiser has attempted 54 free throws on the season. Kaiser hits that. Shooting 93% from the line as Toledo turns it over yet again. That's their seventh turnover of the game. 26. 26 points off turnovers per game. They're well short of that right now. Leah Brown from the left side. Contested jump shot is good. Unfortunately called for the foul for Michigan. Wired. Now over to Garcia. Two leading scorers for Toledo thus far this game. Garcia into the double team. Finishes with the left. Delicate touch from number one. Now Kaiser with it again. Spins left and is fouled. And Toledo doesn't necessarily have the size on the interior and physical defense to try to keep her off of her spots and that's gonna lead to a lot of fouls. Kaiser with the hedge. Good rotation here from Stuck. And the baseline drive, unable to get it to go, but back up and in from Lanasia Brewer. Toledo cleared out the paint, and that meant there was no Wolverines in there to get the defensive rebound. But their goal is to get back to the NCAA tournament, which they haven't been to since 2017 when they won the MAC tournament and lost to Creighton in the first round. That year they had a 25-9 record. As we're back here, Layla Filia back rims the first free throw. who shoots 76% from the line. It's lock it on the floor. Someone else is going to have to step up and create for the Rockets. And a turnover from Wired. Michigan again with it. 15 on the shot clock. Just under four minutes left in the second quarter. Pace has slowed down a little bit. Possibly in Michigan's favor as Toledo was 
on a rampant pace. Kaiser, nice footwork, right hook, mismatch. Good defense there from Kaiser, falls back. Williams with the help, now Wired pops it. Short, thought she got fouled by Brown. Toledo with the offensive rebound. Good block from the backside by Felia, and Michigan gets the steal. Excellent team defense there from the Wolverines. And like you said, we've really seen them slow this game down. Play at their own pace. Felia into Williams. Williams is fouled there. Overall, this Wolverines team has been excellent, shooting at about an 82% clip from the stripe. Williams calmly knocks down the first. Not the only international player on this uh, Toledo Rockets squad. Fourth foul on Michigan. The Rockets will be in the bonus on the next foul. Fake there got Brown in the air and a calm finish by Jada Jansen. Felia denies the screen. Short on the jump shot, but Williams with the rebound. And another foul called. That'll be on Goss, it looks like. So that'll be her second. Williams previously hit both of her free throws as Michigan still struggling from the lot from the field they're just shooting 35 percent yet they're only down six as Williams hits the second of two and they've managed to stop the bleeding by upping that intensity on the defensive end Garcia straight away nothing but net Brown settles it in Kaiser into the post with the left off glass that's good. Kaiser up to nine points on the game. And that's what you need to stop Emily Kaiser right now because this, she has been so dominant. This last minute crucial to see who will get momentum going into the half. You can see why she's one of the best scorers in the match. Combining for 29 of Toledo's 39 points so far. Kim barnes Rico yelling one. And Michigan turns it over and Kim barnes Rico is incensed as the entire Michigan bench was yelling to the players on the floor to hold for one shot. As now Toledo can hold for one shot. 15 seconds left. Wired, guarded by Nolan. Expect Lockett to get the ball here. Lockett goes left all the way and doesn't turn it over. Wired saves it. Driving on Nolan all the way to the hoop and hits. Sophia Wired with 13 points here in this first half. As we kick off this second half, Toledo with the ball, holding an 11 point lead. Wired, their leading scorer in the first half with 13 on four or five from the field, three of four from three as Lockett pops this one in. And that ball gets stuck behind the basket. Looks like we are trying to get it with a mop, and we do. Left elbow, unable to get that to go is Leah Brown, and she shakes her head. Either the visitors or the home crowd. Nolan with good help defense. Now Kaiser rotates over, gets drive by, and a great drive there by Sammy McConowitz. I believe we have our largest lead of the game at 13. As Kaiser gets free, and Brown with a nice floated pass. Great active hands from Lockett as she now drives baseline. Thought she got bumped by Felia, but instead Evans goes cross and reverses good. Wired gets past Brown. Now Garcia on the right wing at the horn, unable to go. Evans looking down low for Kaiser and a Another foul called on Toledo. That's their fourth so far of the quarter. That should be a big thing in the late game. Machine will be in the bonus with the next foul. Kaiser loses that one. Great pass up ahead from Wired. And Lockett beat three Michigan defenders. That's, that's what's got to happen. They've got to flat out make shots. Felia inbounds pass. Fought for the board. Felia gets it back. Sidestep and lays it in finally. They've really ratcheted it up on the defensive side. To have a chance in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Toledo scored four points this half and we're six minutes into the into the third quarter here. And the Wolverines have only dug in by two points. Calmly hits the first. As Felia hits both. 
Kaiser and Nolan on the floor for the Wolverines. Wired, Garcia, Goss. Especially from Wired, who has one assist and three turnovers. Uncharacteristic of her as Camp Schrader hits the three for the Wolverines. The lead is down to four. And that's that injection of life that you needed if you're Michigan. Camp Schrader comes off the bench and knocks down a big time three. Camp Schrader now up to 10 threes on the year as Evans a little too overzealous on that hedge commits the foul. Good minutes off the bench for the Wolverines and Coach KBA. That miscommunication here, but good help from Kaiser as Lockett is left open for three. Garcia tried to save it. Now Michigan with numbers and Camp Schrader completely forgot about Garcia. 4-3 and hits it. Uh, quiet offensive showing. Felia all the way to the basket, but unable to get it to go. Looks like she's grabbing her calf. Might have been cramping, but still hustles back down as Wired is fouled by Camp Schrader. Down low aggressively, drawing fouls from the Rockets early in this quarter, but since haven't been able to... Gets it to Felia. Felia drives to the left. Camp Schrader now, thinking about the three. Goes baseline. Good defense from Wired. Felia, soft touch, bounces it in, and Felia, grateful that one dropped home. Felia loses Lockett there for a second. As an offensive foul is called on Garcia, and looks like Kaiser took a shot to the head there. Knock off that hit she took to her head and get back in this one. As Camp Schrader, now with it on the left wing stuck trying to get it down low to Williams Williams quickly to her right shoulder Lockett coming the other way with a head of steam into the corner and now Jansen long two is good lead back up to seven clocks ticking six seconds left for Leah Brown she looks at the clock pulls up from deep way off and the horn sounds Michigan cuts into the lead by four uh, but for, for either team to win this game, I think it's going to be who has more consistent uh, more consistency on the offensive end. I think that's going to be who wins this game. Absolutely. Both teams have been inconsistent this second half. Michigan still just shooting 35% from the field. Arguably lucky to be within seven. As not happy with that call. Maggie Tienen not As an offensive rebound again for the Rockets. They've gotten a few of those in the last few minutes. Backdoor cut, Felia. As Michigan goes down low. Now Leah Brown for three. And that is rolls around and out. Looks like the ball will go back to the Rockets. She's hot, she's hot, and in that kind of mid-range area and takes a lot of tough shots, but this is the downside to that. Konowitz from the right side hits the three. That's her first of the game. Who's going to step up on the offensive end for Michigan? Leah Brown thought she was fouled there. Felia spinning her way around the free throw line. Is Leah Brown. Ten attempted threes, but they're still only shooting 20% from beyond the arc. Yeah, I mean, you can see it. Cameron Williams, one of the highest. Those close-in shots. High-low here as Cook gets an easy layup. And for Michigan, it just seems like the ball's sticking, and it's a lot of iso ball and, and two-man game. This is an aggressive move by Kaiser, and she gets the and one. Kaiser misses this one. Garcia, two seconds left, in to McConowitz, and her shot is off. Just the way she moves is so fluid. Michigan attacking this matchup with... Emily Kaiser, and Kaiser will go to the line. Huge possession here for the Rockets as both faithful standing up now. Wired being guarded by Camp Schrader. Now Felia on Lockett. This has been a great matchup all night as Lockett banks it in from straight on for two. And that's a great player making a tough shot. Good defense. Down low, Felia. Goes off the screen. Michigan looking for a post touch. Here's Evans. 
going at the smaller matchup and gets it to go. Offense and make sure you get a good shot. Wired pulls up for two, that's short, and Kaiser with the rebound. Long pass up ahead, Felia with the right, and one! Layla Felia! That was a tough shot. Wolverines then to take advantage, get out in transition. Excellent job by Layla Felia. Two of the leading scorers for the Rockets on the bench in these crucial moments because of foul trouble. As Maddie Nolan loses her matchup and Goss off ball movement from the Wolverines. No one gets open. Now Felia down low goes to her right. Lock it and McConowitz back into the game, but Felia knocks down the first. It's going to be hugely important down the stretch for this team, obviously, when you're trying to come back. Got to make your free throws. Michigan has made all three of their last field goal attempts, but haven't been able to get a rebound on this defensive end as that long two is short from Jansen and Michigan with a chance to bring it within one or tie as Camp Schrader dribbles it off her foot and now a two on one Camp Schrader chooses to sit back and a nice finish from Goss lead back up to five Michigan unable to trade baskets at this point they'll need to get a few stops as Kaiser on the other side Michigan Evans with four fouls Kaiser misses both as Toledo trying to extend their five point lead, 320. And a travel called on Lockett. Leah Brown guarded by Goss. Aggressive defense. As Toledo's been very good pressuring the ball all night. Kaiser now out to Feely in the corner, and that one rattles around and goes down for the Wolverines. Now Goss, now Wired. Can she make something happen? No foul called, and she throws this out of bounds. Leila Feely is doing all she can. Eight points in the fourth quarter for Michigan to pull this one out at home. Michigan has made four of their last four as now Evans down low with the left and converts. We're all tied up. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. Are you not entertained? Kaiser, Lockett got by her. Now Wire going in. And a foul will be called on Leah Brown as Wired lowered the shoulder, but Brown a little too aggressive there. And Wired will indeed pass it in. That's Brown's third. Evans with four, playing with defense. Evans getting the crunch time minutes here. And gets the block, it looks like that went off Mikonowicz. But we're gonna go under the hood for this one. Confirm their call, it will be Michigan basketball. 64 all, Michigan with a chance to take a lead that they haven't had in quite some time. Layla Felia now, back to Brown. Felia, open on the back door, and converts! Beautiful play drawn up there by Kim barnes Rico as Michigan takes their first lead. Pass away, and then a back screen. Gets Layla Felia open on the back door, cut. She's been electric in this fourth quarter. Nothing short of box office. And Michigan loses Goss on the back, and Evans gives Goss the bucket and the foul. Evans, that will be her fifth to make sure that Goss has to think about this. And she rolls it in. One point lead for the Rockets. 84 seconds left. Crunch time here. And you want it in no one else's hands but number five right now if you're Michigan. Jordan Hobbs with her first touch. Gets it back out to Leah Brown. Maddie Nolan open for three. Short on that one. And Garcia with the rebound. Maddie Nolan with her best look of the night. Under one minute to go. 20 on the shot clock. Out to Garcia. Michigan needing a stop here. Lead is one for the Rockets. Double team here. And a timeout called there from Wired, veteran play. As Toledo will inbound it, 12 on the shot clock, 45 on the game clock. Wired gets it, guarded by Brown. Garcia coming up to set the screen. Wired gets by one. Now Camp Schrader rotates over to McConowitz, and her shot is off the side of the backboard. A shot clock violation. And for the Wolverines, it appears to be Layla Filia. For Toledo, is it Lockett? Is it Wired, your senior point guard? And we'll find out. This game giving shades of the 
Baylor game that the Wolverines had to gut out after being down big late. Now Brown goes over Goss and rolls it in. Leah Brown gives Michigan the lead with 20.3 seconds left. Michigan is at 14 foul, so the next foul will, will put Toledo in the bonus, meaning that Michigan cannot does not have any fouls to give. As this pass goes into McConowitz, we will stay on this side of the court. Toledo ball, 16.9 seconds left into McConowitz. McConowitz goes with the drive and the right hand. It's good. Just an isolation play for one of your best players, and McConowitz gets the job done this time. Uh, but Leila Felia has been electric for you in this fourth quarter as well. So I think it's going to be one of those two. Ball into Leila Felia. Back to Brown quickly. Now into Kaiser. Down low. Now Brown. Turnaround jump shot. Short. McConowitz board. No foul called yet. And now a foul called with 3.1 on the shot clock. On the game clock. And McConowitz comes away with the ball. But Brown a little too short on this as we see here the scrum. Michigan trying to get a tie up because the possession was actually in their favor. Again, interesting to see what McConowitz does if she makes this. She does indeed. And you can already see Maddie Nolan leaking out to spot up. No timeouts being communicated here. If McConowitz misses this, Michigan will have to. She makes it, so Michigan will get to inbound it, but no timeouts. And you want to get applying full court pressure. You want to get somebody going down the floor with the ball. They get it to Felia, catches it at the half court, has a good look at it, gets deflected. It's short, and that's ball game. The Toledo Rockets come into this one and take it from the 14th ranked, undefeated, no longer Wolverines. 71 to 68.